How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to download games on your Kindle Touch. There is a uh, good amount of games you can download and they even have some free ones as well. So I'm going to show you how to find the free ones and what a couple games look like. So first thing you're going to do is uh, go to the shopping cart in the upper left corner right here. Tap on there. And then once you do that, uh, you'll have an option right here that says popular games. So go ahead and tap on that. And once it takes us into the popular game section, um, it says 37 uh, Kindle titles. So you can just swipe up to look at the different games. They have Sudoku, Word Search, Solitaire, uh, Checkers, Mahjong. I've actually downloaded a free blackjack game that I'm going to show you in a second but there's a bunch of cool games on here um, great for a little road trip and just looking for something to fill some time and I'm sure they're going to add a bunch of more games um, as well they even have some cool uh, mazes and whatnot. now if you want to find the free games this is what you're going to do if you click on menu no not menu you're going to type in the box at the top here just type in free Okay. If you type in free, this prompt will come up and then actually type in games. Okay, let's hit search. So three hundred and thirty four options came up. So, hmm, I think you would want to type in games, there we go, games for Kindle free, you can tap there, you can tap over here where it says games for Kindle 0.00, .00. show you what that looks like, you see right there, games for 0.00, zero. Here's the thing, you still have to download the game even though it's free. So that's why it'll show that it's zero zero. Um it has to they like track everything that you download so that if you ever get a new one you can download it easier. So here we have to learn the hard way. Just because all the games show up in here doesn't mean that they're all free. But what it does is it'll sort them and put the free ones at the top and then it'll kind of put them in order. So like blackjack. This is a free game. I tap on it, and it'll take me to the screen, and right here on the price, it says zero, zero, zero. If I go back, and I only know because I was trying to download um, Sudoku, and it was not free. I'm going to swipe up, and let's see. So I'm just going in order. If the, yeah, Here we go. It says Sudoku works. Tap on there. And this game is 99 cents, and it says that under price. So just because you type that in, they're not going to show you all the free games, but they're going to put them in order from free and then dollar games, and it'll kind of go up from there. Okay? So that's how you find the games. Uh, just kind of searching through the menu. If we go back to home, I have two games downloaded. One is Blackjack and one is Tic-Tac-Toe. I want to show you what those look like. The Blackjack one's actually pretty cool, even though it's in black and white. I have it on my home screen. When you download it, it's going to show up in that home screen. Um, so that's cool because it's right there. And I actually had a game going, so I'm going to go ahead and hit resume. And this game, I won because I got blackjack. So I hit deal. Let me do a close-up so you can actually see it. So this is it right here. So right now this is me. I have 9-9. Nine, nine, and I am going to split. Try my luck. And this is awesome. I got 20 on this one, 19 on this one. And now I'm going to stand. And it looks like I'm going to stand on both. And I won the game. So graphics aren't that bad. I mean, for a black and white screen, you know, and if you're a Blackjack fan, hey, you know, now you have it on your Kindle. You can change it up. You can read. You can listen to music. You can listen to an audio book or you can play a game, you know. And for, don't forget there's the feature where you can browse the web, check your email. I have videos and all that stuff. So check out my channel for all that kind of stuff. 
I would recommend you get the 3G option, the 3G models, because you'll always have access to the internet, and it'll give you more options no matter where you are, opposed to being limited to somewhere where there's Wi-Fi only. So I'm going to go ahead and close this down, just hit the home button to go back to the main screen. I'm going to swipe up, and I actually have a tic-tac-toe, which is right here. I'm going to tap on that. This is the game that I won. Now, this computer really sucks. I'm going to warn you. They make it very easy for you to win, but I'm sure there's a way to adjust the settings to um, get more competition. Look at that. It just gave me the game. You see that? There's another one you can download, too, and it's actually a two-player one, so you can play against somebody. And um, I'm going to hit Choose Another Game. Here are the different skill levels. I'm going to click on level 16. Let's see how hard the top level is and obviously they get to go first I guess that's why it's hard <laughs> let's see I'll go here he goes there and that was a good play I'm gonna go here and he's trying to corner me I'm gonna go here and this game was a draw so I'll, oh he beat me oh <laughs> I feel kinda dumb I actually got beaten to that so um, so this is obviously one of the simpler games, but you get a great selection, Sudoku, Word Search, Crossword Puzzles, uh, Mahjong, a lot of different options of games. Take advantage of it, because hey, you know, this device does so much. The fact that this touchscreen really opens it up and allows it to do more that the normal Kindles that are not touchscreen cannot do. So, um, take advantage of it, enjoy it. Leave me a comment, let me know what you thought of the video. And uh, keep watching H2 Tech videos. Have a good one.